In the heart of Islamabad, protesters at a sit-in are calling with urgency for the Pakistani government to step up. They're demanding decisive and concrete action to secure a ceasefire in Gaza and to establish a humanitarian assistance corridor for its beleaguered residents. The protest demonstration, now in its week-long stretch in front of the country's parliament, has drawn a large and diverse crowd. Among them are student activists, politicians and journalists, all united in their call for peace. Pakistan should intervene in the Palestine-Israel conflict and Pakistan should stop this genocide after the Israeli occupation of Rafah because there are 1.5 million people encircled by the Israeli forces and they are using hunger as a weapon of genocide and they are bombing them by sophisticated weapons. Every Muslim has sentiments and compassion, of course, and they are very upset about the situation because still there is no breakthrough. We see that Rafah, which was the only safe place for the Palestinians and for Gazans, is now surrounded, and even that is being bombed. Fifteen lakhs of people are innocently suffering without medicines, without food, without a drop of water. Pakistanis demand expulsion of US, UK ambassadors amid Gaza genocide. These protesters are asking the government of Pakistan to take action on the ambassadors of the countries that are supporting Israel's genocidal war in Gaza including the United States as well as the United Kingdom. The protesters demanded that Pakistan join South Africa in its genocide case against Israel at the International Court of Justice. In a significant development, the World Court has ordered Israel to immediately halt the Rafah offensive. This decision marks a pivotal moment in international responses to the conflict. The protesters expressed solidarity with the people of Gaza and condemned Israeli actions as crimes against humanity. They vowed to continue their protest until the government of Pakistan takes action against the U.S.-Israeli genocide in Gaza.